to solve from 0 to 2 pi. Um, we'll do this one without a calculator, so I'm going to say core equals 2 sine 2x minus pi by 6 plus 3. Does not just make you happy. Okay, if this does not make you happy, this is why we're doing this today. Okay, right? Because this is one you have to be able to solve. Pretend there's no x's there in anything. Pretend all those pi's and all that stuff is gone. Then that was just like 4 equals 2y plus 3. Megan, right? Megan, what would be your first step there to isolate x? No? Okay, somebody help me here. Just think, what's going to connect to x? John? Uh, sorry, like on the, uh, you probably want to move the get from. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm preparing you guys for universal calculus, which means no calculators. Okay? Because you can do this or no computers in front of you either. Okay? What's the next step? Thank you, Robbie. Uh, to divide by two. So it's going to be one half. Please note in this class we are not using um, calculators. We're not using decimals for anything. If you have a square root, leave it as a square root. If you have a fraction, leave it as a fraction. All right, Robbie. Sign of what gives you one half? Sign of what gives you one half? Uh, here's your special triangles then. Hold on a sec. Here's your special triangles. Here's the one special triangle. Uh, pi by six, pi by three. Uh, is that right? Two. Is that right? What makes you take that? Number one. Is that right? I know. Is that right? Is that right? That's right because the five over six is the approximate one, right? No. It's not the scale, right? Yeah. So 45, 45. Okay. So sine of what will give you one half? Five or six. Okay. So this is pi over six equals 2 x minus pi over 6. Does this come back, I hope? Yeah. Oh, I see like sign over? So what I actually did was I did sign inverse on my calculator. Just one half. So if you do sign inverse of 1 half and radius, what will you get? You'll get an awful decimal. Oh, but yeah. you should get pi over 6. What you should get is an exact answer. Oh, I see blank blanks. Use your calculator if you need to. You can do it in degrees if you want to. 0.5 sine inverse, you will get 30. 30 is the same as 5 or 6. That, please ask, guys, I don't, because I'm going to steam like, the way it happens in this course, I'm not lying. If nobody asks questions, I'll think, wonderful, we're all geniuses, so I'm going to keep on trucking 100 miles an hour. I'm not kidding, so please don't stop me. John. Next to me. Yes, you do. Are we all, before I move it to the class, you guys are all geniuses, I've been told you that right here, John. Okay, so this turns to pi over 12. Negative. What do I do now? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to call this, if you don't mind. No, that's okay. Well, that's okay what I did there? Oh, I see that black box. We're okay? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> You're not? Okay, ask away. Ask away. Are you okay for how we can deal with the problem this still? Yeah. No, I'm sorry, Brady, but I fumbled. Mean, okay. Let's go back. Just for the simple, I'll just come back to this, okay? Um, the way it works for a circle, right, 2 pi is equal to 360 degrees. That's what a circle is. Do you guys need the pictures of radians and all that stuff, arc length and all that? So here's a circle. Basically, there's 1, 2, 3, and 0 0.1415 and all that sort of stuff. So this is one radian, two, three, radian. all together. All together, that's pi. That's where that comes from. Okay, that's where pi comes from. Okay, so pi radians, two pi is three sixty. Pi is going to be one eighty degrees. Okay, 
that's basically the that's basically where it all comes from. Um, we're going to be working the lady in. So if you have to have your calculus to convert over at the end, I wouldn't advise that. But every answer we're going to do is in degrees. Uh, every radians, I mean. So from zero. <laughs> so from just so we're clear, first quadrant is going to be from zero to pi by two, pi by two to pi, pi to three pi by two, and as I break my arm, three pi by two to three pi. Right, that's right. Okay, we're all, that's sort of what happened. If you need practice, that's okay. Yeah, Don't yeah, do that. Gonna do. <laughs> okay. Um, and get rid of this guy. Okay. Um, okay. Um, then, what does that turn into on the left hand side then? 3 pi over 12. Yeah, and then I hate 3 pi over 12. What can I turn that into? Okay, I'm not sure how much you guys did of this in advanced functions. Okay, but we did tons of this in grade 11. And of course you know yes, and of course you know there are tons more solutions here. There are tons and tons and tons more solutions. Michael, do you want to help? Can you do the pi minus that the sign you did? Good. If you need the rules back to you, you can use your cast rule if you need to. But if you don't want to, our rules are for sine. Your solutions are theta and pi minus theta. Okay, and for tan, this is going to be theta and uh, pi plus theta. Those are identities, right? If you remember, that's also cast rule, right? So pi by 6 is here. The other value of sine is going to be pi, pi by 6. Oh, there's, an oh, there's an identity for that, I think, isn't there? There should be an identity for that. Okay, Reed asked, are there identities? I answered, yes, there are identities. <laughs> that's one of the identities, right? Okay. It should be that there's one of these is sine. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, and yep. all those, those are actual formal identities, right? Oh, boy. And again, you learned this in grade 11 if you were in my class, right? Because I called it 180, call it 180 minus, 360 minus, and 180 plus. Oh. Okay. Let's keep doing our algebra here. I'll do this quick and let you guys finish up. This is 5 pi over 6 over this. Remember when I get to grade 9. Uh, so this is 5 pi by 12 equals x minus pi by 6. 5 pi by 12 plus 2 pi by 12 equals x. 7 pi by 12. So you just go up to right after you put that. What's that? Whenever you take sine, cos, or tan out, that's when your second set of numbers comes from. Right. Do you guys do this at all in advanced functions? Yes, I did. I hope you did this yeah, in advanced yeah, functions. Okay, for those who didn't write their exam last week, did you guys do this in advanced functions? Yeah. You should have. Yeah. You should have. Yeah. Lots of it. We did this stuff. We did it. Okay, now here's the problem though. We're not quite done this question yet though, because Mr. Sadler is me. I want all the answers from 0 to 2 pi. I have two answers. I need more. Why do I need more answers? Yes, why? Why? Sir? Yes. What's my period of this graph? In the theory of the graph is that. What's the period going to be? Go ahead. Yeah, the period's going to be, yeah, the period is going to equal, remember, uh, 2 pi by k, which is 2 pi by 2, which is just pi. Meaning that. I will have two sets of answers between 0 and pi. And I'll have another two sets of answers between pi and 2 pi. This is coming back, I hope, for people. Oh, no, I see some blank marks. 
see some scrunched up faces. Okay, it's okay. All right, so well, what does that tell me then? That all that tells me is that I have a graph that looks sort of like this. The internet can't see that I'm waving my arm though. You have this point and you have this point. You still need to get to this point and this point. Does that make sense, right? You have the first two solutions on your graph. I'll draw, actually, how would I draw it on the board? Right. Uh, I don't want to do something. Shoot. How would I draw it on this board? So my graph's going, I don't get four plus three. What's K? K is your, K is the number in front of this. This is K right there. Oh, okay. So anyway, the graph's going something like this. This is not exactly what it looks like, so don't fail with me. There's one cycle. There's two cycles of the graph. So I found this and this. I need to get this and this. <laughs> right? So in order to get from the first to the third, I'm just going to add my period. And the same thing from there to there, just add my period. Right, is that somewhat coming back from people? I hope a little bit. Maybe you're nodding your head out. So I know we killed this to death in grade 11. You guys hated me at the time. You might still. Well, I remember it from grade 12. That from what Brian answered, you can have before adding your periods too. Yeah, there's always two in one cycle. Right? right. We think we'll never have a where you just have one. No. Okay. Uh, the only thing that we face, yes. When can I only have one answer? Yeah. As a match. Yeah, if it's at the very maximum, there will only be one answer, right? Or if it's because right there would be bad, there couldn't be a second hit. But most of the time, there's one answer. As far as what I'm back here, I'm going to add my period. So plus pi, which is my period, and plus pi. X is going to be, um, so what's that, 5 pi by 4. And 19. Is that right? 19 pi by 12? 19 pi by 12. Yeah. Okay, hopefully some of this is looking familiar. So where I got these from, sorry, I didn't just this matches with this, right? Left, bottom left matches with bottom left, bottom right matches bottom right. This is I see some blank looks. Is, is anyone seeing this? I'm gonna pause the video. Second. 